Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about decimals and percents. Okay, so this thing here is called a period when you use it with words, but it's called a decimal when you use it in a number. Crazy, it's the same thing. It's just here it's called a period and here it's called a decimal. Okay, now we never actually use the word decimal. When we say a number like this, we use the word point. So this number here is 1.76. It's not 1.76. So really, the word decimal in English is sort of useless because we never actually use it. We always use the word point, 1.76. So this would be 1.76. Okay, uh, so here are some more examples. This would be 0 0.5, 1.8, 9.25. Okay, now this isn't 9.25, it's just 9.25. Okay, so any numbers that come after the decimal, we just say individually, right? 9.25. But there's an exception. In English, there's always exceptions, right? So take a look at this, Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.6. So this is the version of Mac OS that I'm using on my computer right now. And it's 10.12.6. Okay, so there we say the whole numbers. We don't say 10.12.6. No, it's 10.12.6. Okay, so how do you think we would say this here. What do you think? I'll tell you, it's Android 7.0. Android 7.0, okay? Now, you could say 7.0, but more commonly, we would just say Android 7.0, all right? Now, look at this number here. What do you think we should say? Should we say 7.05? Or should we say 7.05? What do you think? Well, you can use either one. They're both correct. But this one is a little bit better. Okay, so if you see a number like this with, like if it was just 7.0, then this would be better. But if it's 7.05 or some more numbers like that, then it's better to use the word zero. It's a little bit less confusing. Okay, so let's talk about percents. So percent, percent, percentage. What's the difference? Well, these two are exactly the same. They're just different spelling, okay? Personally, I use this one here. Uh, now, percentage is the same thing, but we use it a little bit differently in English, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example here. A large percentage of Canadians smoke pot. In Canada, 20% of the population smokes pot. Okay, do you see the difference? Here we have a number, so we use the word percent. Over here we don't have a number, so we use the word percentage. A large percentage or a small percentage of people or of the population. Whereas here we have a number, so we use the word percent, okay? So let's take a look at some more examples here. 5%, 110%, 7.3%. Okay, so this is actually really easy. You just need to practice a little bit. So I want you to tell me what percentage of people in your country speak English? What do you think? Don't look it up, just guess. I just want you to guess. If I had to guess for Canada, I would say, I would say about 70% of Canadians speak English. There's a lot of people in Canada that don't speak English. For example, in the province of Quebec, most people don't speak English, they speak French there, and they have a really high population there. Um, and then in the rest of Canada, there's a lot of immigrants, and a lot of immigrants who come here don't speak any English. Okay, there's a lot of people from India, from China, who don't speak a word of English. Some people speak a bit of English, and some people speak English really well, but there's, there's a lot of people who actually don't speak English well enough to function in society. Maybe they need to start watching Mad English TV.
who knows? Okay, so I want you to tell me what you think of the number, the percentage of people in your country that speak English. Let me know in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.